Welcome back, investors, to Ticker Time News. I'm Adam, and for the second quarter in a row, shares of Netflix, ticker symbol NFLX, have sank following the company's release of its quarterly earnings report. In the wake of this sell-off that followed the release of its Q4 report back in January, I figured that a lot of the bad news had already been priced in. However, boy, was I surprised in its Q1 report Netflix shocked investors again by reporting its first global net ad subscriber decline in over a decade and guided to an even larger decline in Q2. The net subscriber decline stands out in shocking fashion too. Global streaming paid net ads in Q1 were down 200,000 versus the gain of 2.5 million that they reported for prior guidance. And the guidance now calls for a 2 million decline for Q2. That's not good for subscribers. Now, Netflix did stop service in Russia, which did add to the net loss of subscribers. Because if not for its suspension of service in Russia, the company would have recorded a half million paid net ads. However, though, that still would have missed the mark. I do give Netflix credit for its honesty during its earnings call, Management did admit that it misread the impact of the pandemic. COVID boosted subscriber growth a lot in 2020 and 2021. At the time, Netflix thought that those results mostly represented pull forward demand. However, coming into 2022, that thesis does not really hold water. After years of downplaying the threat of competition, Netflix has changed its tune in the last two quarters and has admitted that competition has had an impact. Netflix also views account sharing as a significant factor in its performance. Account sharing among users of the streaming service is not a new phenomenon. It's been going on since practically day one. However, when Netflix was growing fast, it didn't really view taking measures to address the practice as a high priority. That's now going to change. Netflix estimates that over 100 million households are sharing passwords. And in Netflix's view, it's great that users love the platform, but Netflix knows that it needs to monetize their usage and in doing so will be a key near-term focus. How exactly that will happen is yet to be settled, but it's going to be addressed. The other big news on the earnings call was Netflix indication that it's now open to offering lower priced ad supported plans. Netflix has long avoided even thinking of doing this as an option. I view it as a good move, as it should allow Netflix to attract a new set of customers whom paying $20 a month for their platform is just too much money. These last two earnings reports suggest that the streaming market has become saturated, especially here in the United States. We may need to substantially reset our expectations for Netflix going forward. As subscribers become harder to come by, investors may also need to shift from net ad numbers to overall revenue and cash generation. Netflix enjoys huge advantages with a large subscriber base that has long been the envy of the streaming world. And that is before dipping down into the ad supported world, which again, should boost subscribers. I give Netflix credit though. It was an early pioneer with streaming. And while many did doubt its business model early on, Netflix stuck to its guns and the bet paid off big time. However, a bunch of others are now joining the streaming party and their presence is having an impact on Netflix and their subscriber growth. What did you think about Netflix earnings results? Let me know in the comments below as your comments help us all to better understand Netflix. And if you could help us out greatly by smashing that like button, sharing this video, and clicking the first link in the description to beat the market with us. And if it's your first time watching, click subscribe. For Ticker Time News, I'm Adam. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.